Sustainable Change. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 249. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 249, December 31st, 2017 edition. Happy New Year! Uh, this week's topic is sustainable change. By definition, sustainable means capable of continuing on and uh, taking less than it uses. And change, in our case, is positive change towards a sustainable world that will benefit everybody. And so everything that you see happening in the background of the video right now is our open source and free share tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for what we call highest good living, covering all aspects of sustainability, which are food, energy, housing, as well as the emotional aspects of sustainability that we've identified as highest good education, highest good economic models, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting all these things together to create sustainable change built on giving people more of what they want. And we believe that if we can make this sustainable change easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And that is, and because it's built on sustainable infrastructure, that is the sustainable change that one community is working towards. To make it easy enough, affordable enough, to demonstrate as attractive enough so that the idea and all the concepts of sustainable change and highest good living will spread on their own through teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs working together to create a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime. And because it's self-replicating, that is how we can actually accomplish this within our lifetime. If you do the math, if we create and build one community as the prototype, and one community inspires two additional communities to start the next year of just 50 people, even just 50 people in one community is meant to grow to hundreds, if not thousands of people. So if you start just two additional communities with 50 people, and then those two communities and one community inspire four more communities the next year, and then those all those combined, those four plus the original three inspire eight more communities, and then those eight, 16, 32, 64, and so on and so forth. If you run the math on that, in less than 30 years, we could include every single person on the planet in sustainable change. And it doesn't need to include every single person on the planet to be sustainable change. We only need a percentage of people on the planet participating. And that percent, small percentage of people could provide enough resources, enough know-how, and enough stimulation and inspiration to impact the entire planet. Not everybody needs to participate in what it is that we're doing to create a world that works for everybody. Only enough people need to participate to reach the tipping point of participation so that we finally live on a sustainable planet. So we have enough people stewarding their surroundings intelligently, ethically, conscientiously, taking care of their environments in ways that give more than they take, that support their surrounding communities, that localize the process of uh, making decisions that preserve and protect and support everybody within that area, within that bioregion, in a way that is sustainable. This is what we're all about. This is what the food, the energy, the housing, the education, all the open source resources that we're creating, this is what they're all about, is building that foundation for teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs, working together in collaboration, cooperation around the world to improve life for everyone to finally start taking care of this planet the way that we know how to create the world that we know is possible but has thus far eluded humanity, to create a sustainable planet that benefits everybody, to solve the problem of homelessness, to solve the problem of starvation, to solve the problem of social injustice and inequality, and inequality to solve war, to solve poverty, all of these things through building sustainable infrastructure, through growing sustainable food, through operating sustainable education models, through providing fulfilled living models that people enjoy more than the way that they're living right now, and inviting everybody who wants to, to, to participate, to be a part of the change, to be a part of a legacy of creating a world that works for everybody, to carry that legacy forward to the benefit of our children and our children's children and their children after them. 
to finally create a world that is truly sustainable and ethically and intelligently uses our resources in a way that is sustainable because currently it's not sustainable. So this is what our organization is doing. And we're an all-volunteer, nonprofit organization. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. We're creating it because we want to live this way. We're creating it because we believe that this world is possible within our lifetime. And we're creating it because we enjoy being a part of something amazing, which is this wave of change, writing, helping to write the next great chapter in the human story, a chapter that finally starts to represent us as a sustainable civilization, bringing more and more people into the process of creating sustainability, providing more happiness, providing more freedom, providing more security, safety, quality of life, all of these things, because that's what people want. More time with our friends and family, like-minded individuals that share the same values, creating environments to support that, whatever people's values are, all around the world, working together in cooperation and collaboration for the goodness of all of humankind and all life on our planet. That seems like a reasonable goal, a worthwhile goal to work towards. And this is what our all-profit, non-profit, all profit, our non-profit, all-volunteer team is doing. And this is how we're creating sustainable change. So with that said, let's take a look at one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of sustainable change and everything that we've created last week. Here it is. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. This week, we began designing the fitness station, inspired by top right images here, and continued designing the outdoor gym. The core team also continued working on the Murphy bed instructions by adding new parts, materials, tools, page numbers, and other details. The collage shown here shares these most recent updates. And the core team began adding our final design details to the water recycling net zero bathroom design page. This initial work included converting our Google presentation images to web images and formatting and editing the related text. You can see some of this work here. In addition, the core team added descriptions and features for all the images added over the last couple weeks to the Compressed Earthblock Village page. You can see this new content here. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 32nd week volunteering with our team. This week's focus was further developing the vermiculture toilet chamber designs by adding more support to the bottom of the container and developing a new method of securing it to the main chamber. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 94 of Dean's work. This week's focus was continued lighting and texture updates to produce this newest test render of the central dining and stage area. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 10th week working on the Compressed Earth Block Village render editions. This week, he finished adding people and other aesthetic elements to this final render of the east rooftop area. This image is now live on the site also. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 42nd week of work, 3D modeling the central labyrinth area. Michelle Penzararu, interior designer and architectural drafter, also completed her second week taking over development of the Treehouse Village Pod 7 residential designs. This week she updated the roof and gutters, added coverings for the patios, designed a new common entryway, and started redesigning the central common space. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering. What you see here are his updated calculations for the wind loads applied to the triangles that make up the domes themselves. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his seventh week helping with the HVAC designs for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was researching lead details for maximizing sustainability points related to HVAC design. What you see here are some of the initial results of this research. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 63rd week of work on the lighting specifics for the City Center. 
This week's focus was continuing the modeling of the mezzanine areas in the central area of the city center, as shown here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued work on the formulas and data for the food calculations on the food self-sufficiency transition plan pages, adding additional micronutrient information to the food plan based on staple foods we can store in bulk. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued adding to the education evaluation and evolution process, open source pages and tutorials. This week, we added additional content and resources to the Surpassing Education Standards page, as you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Aravind Vasudevan, BA in Mechanical Engineering, continued working on the climate battery designs and research. This week's focus was additional drawings to help the 3D team and calculations for the fans that will be needed for the climate batteries supporting the Aquapini and Wallapini structures and Tropical Atrium. The Highest Good Network software team consists of Samya Manohar, Priti Kotari, Shubra Mittal, and Priyanka Singh. This week, the team fixed several database errors and completed development of the leaderboard REST service. They also implemented password hashing for security at REST data and returning the token on user login. Well, there you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards sustainable change for everyone. Global sustainable change. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. And uh, last but not least, if you'd like to help out, the easiest way to help out is to join us on social media and share our information on social media. Like this video, share this video, share any of the content on our website, go to our social media page and just like the different things that we're sharing there to help support in that way. That is the easiest way. And we're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Pinterest. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Facebook. We are on Twitter. We are on LinkedIn. And about 15 additional social media networks because we share everywhere to make it as easy as possible for people to access our information and for people to share our information. And of course, if you'd like to join the team, you can do that as well. Visit our helping page if you'd like to join the team. There's lots of different opportunities for people to get involved and help if you're an engineer or an architect and you have a background in the different areas that we're working on. Bring your experience to our team. We would love to work with you. We're an all-volunteer, nonprofit organization. And so uh, anybody with experience and desire to help is definitely welcome. And of course, thank you. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for a wonderful 2017, since this is the last day of 2017. Tomorrow will be 2018. So thanks for watching the end. Thank you for the donations that we get. We're 100% unpaid volunteer staff. So those donations help cover our operation expenses and don't go to uh, salaries or wages. Every dollar that we get goes towards our open source goals and helping keeping everything running, but it doesn't go to wages. So if you're somebody who's donated in one community, thank you for your support. We do appreciate it. It is tax deductible. And uh, last but certainly not least, thanks for being a supporter. Thanks for the emails we get. Thanks for the comments we get. Thanks again for watching to the end. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks.